Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and welcome to episode number two of my FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Let's Play, and that's what I've decided to go with, it. just a Let's Play of Ultimate Team. I think what I talked about in the first episode, uh, covering it, where I can do anything, it'll allow me to do anything with the open packs. Would you like to see me open packs, whether I buy coins or FIFA points, what do you think's better? I don't know, but yeah, we'll see how that goes anyway, but yeah, I want to play some Ultimate Team, and let's go, I'll try and get this out daily. And again, if you enjoy it, drop a like on the video, uh, feedback as well, maybe some signings. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous video as well, I just put yeah these players I've got from packs that I've opened previously a couple months ago. So I've got like Premier League players. I think I was building a Premier League team, I guess. That's why I have yeah all these guys, uh, they were like, the highest rated. And yeah, Mutt is injured, so I must have used him. <laughs> I must have used him somewhere. And he has, yeah, he's got a knee injury, out for one match. So he'll probably come in uh, for one other player uh, to come off the bench. And yeah, I know they're Premier League players, so they're not going to go out with the chemistry. But if you don't know this, but most people who play Ultimate Team do, uh, your players on the bench, when they come on, they don't affect the chemistry. But as I said, over time, I'll be looking to get rid of these guys. Can I actually trade them? Yeah, I can list on the transfer market. So I was looking to build the Premier League team. So I'll sell, I'll sell those. Uh, maybe, yeah, tonight, like when I finish recording for today, I'll sell them. And then, yeah, I'll list them and I'll try and get some Serie A players in. So don't forget to leave your suggestions who I should replace the, uh, replace them with. So we'll go in here and try and find an opponent. Okay, here we go, lads. Uh, we found an opponent. It will be a away match for us. And leave your comments. Uh, when you play away, when you are the away team in the game, does it really does it make an impact if you're the away team? I'm not really sure because, uh, as I said, I haven't played Ultimate Team too much in FIFA 15. So, yeah, leave your feedback. Okay, he's got a big team. A uh, mix of some Spanish players uh, or all different nationalities, really. Uh, it's, a big, uh, it's a good mix, though. Uh, got some Premier League players in there. You've got Robin as well. A uh, mix of a Bundesliga and Premier League, uh, it looks like. So, it's going to be a hard game. Got some quality there. Uh, probably more expensive team. And he's got Adelaide United. Because I'm from Australia, I always get, like, like matched against Australian. So, a lot of the time, you're going to see some, like, A-League kind of logos or something like that. Oh, Van Persie. He doesn't have pace. He doesn't have pace. And Buffon able to save. Buffon's a world-class goalkeeper. He's always been for so long. You're not going to beat him easily. Unless you give him an opening. Van Persie again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Buffon, what a save. That's what I mean. You're not going to beat Buffon easily. The only way you're going to beat him is when it's a parried shot uh, straight to their player, as you can see there, because he made the first shot. That was an excellent save, the first one. Uh, but then, you know, in FIFA, uh, for whatever reason, when the goalkeeper saves it, it directs exactly to the opposition player. So that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, so the better team concedes first. And by the, yeah, the better team, I just mean, yeah, who's had the more chances, better chances uh, so far. I just felt I've started well to this game. Come on. Caceres. Here we go. We get that defender running up and the yeah, players commit. We can start going. Come on, Quadrado. Get past. That's a free kick. So we win another foul. We've got to make it count, though. You've got to make your fouls count and surely no yellow card. Okay. Quadra Do we have a good left footer? Uh, from a free, like, to take free kicks? I don't think we do. Uh, we've got Asamoah. He's got power. That's about it. We may go him. We'll see what he can do. Try and go for the shot. Asamoah. He's going to whip this in. Oh, I think that's as well as I could have done. <laughs> really, I got it in the position. Uh, the direction was good. Power was decent. But you're not going to beat Manuel Neuer easily. Okay, Van Persie. Van Persie. Oh, almost another conceded goal. Well done, Buffon. Well done. And that must be, yeah, that is offside as expected. And there was a cameraman almost behind the linesman getting in position. Oh, almost toughed that up, but pass was too good at the end. Too accurate. Oh, no. Alonso. He's a decent player. Like, he takes his chances. Like, when I make an error, uh, he capitalizes on that. So that's something I have to be careful of. But when I get my game going, it's all right. Don't be a now. Here, this is what I mean. When I get my game going, now I've got to utilize Gomez. Here we go. Oh, I can't get it to him where I want to often enough. Of course, he's a really big presence. He's not just a tall guy that wins headers. He's probably one of the best in the game, especially his man of the match card. Now Pogba, maybe strike it. Oh, Take it. Go. Finish. Bang. What a shot. And that's the superstar. Who's that? I think that's Asamoah. 
Must have been SMR. Uh, I thought it was Pogba initially. Easy to get confused. Oh, no, it's Dumbia. Sorry. Again, <laughs> it's hard to tell when it... I do have the names on the top of their heads, but sometimes it disappears, unfortunately. But it's good we get that back. And Dumbia. And that's the problem, Dumbia. <laughs> like, I don't know what he's, he looks like in the game. That's I wasn't sure uh, because I haven't used him much. Haven't played this heaps. But anyway, let's move on. And let's almost take the lead here. Ooh, close enough. And here we go. Good header-ish. Oh, yes, we win the throw in. Fabregas, eh, not a great pass there. Okay, oh, well taken, Pogba. Now De Rossi, he's a danger from outside of the box. De Rossi, you've got to be getting that on target. He's good for probably about four or five years in Ultimate Team now. He's smashed in those goals for me. I've always had him, like every year I've played FIFA in Ultimate Team, every year I've made some kind of Italian team, Serie A, and he's been there, and he's been very, very good in those situations, in like just that holding position. And yeah, he gets in good positions. But anyway, Pogba with some skill. Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was so close. That smashed like up and down. Thought it almost went in. The Rossi. Oh, Pogba. No one can intercept Pogba. He's too good. Oh, free kick, surely. Ooh, that's a bit of a rough one. But we win it back. The black... Yeah, playing a back three is really good. Like three center backs. They have to be quality, and they are. Here we go. We see an option. What a through ball. Now, Quadrado just needs to finish, and he does. He's a master cutting in from that side, uh, coming into the box. And when he takes that shot, he finishes it with uh, some nice finesse every single time. And I didn't even technically hold RB on that occasion. He just shot it. <laughs> like, he had the shot in that way with some curl. Uh, but look at yeah, those near post shots. He just curls at near post. And, but really, those near posts, Mamon Neuer, best goalkeeper in the world. You would expect he would do better as we deservingly take the lead. The result's just 2-1 at the minute. But I'm really happy like, because I'm sure you're the same in Ultimate Team. When you've built a starting 11 or just a squad in general, yeah, a squad, because that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, when you build a squad, uh, you want it like you want to feel like you're going to win games when you're playing like I've had that even sometimes when I lost a game but I felt like yeah I can win some other games we're playing well we're playing some good stuff if I can just defend better on different situations yeah I can win and pick up a lot of uh, three points and go up in the division so uh, let's go into the second half hopefully yeah hopefully do have a similar performance as the first look for the ball Pogba oh yes Dumbia 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 I'm just trying to show off here to win a penalty. And how wasn't that a penalty? Lucky I finished it anyway. But surely that I tried to skill pass and he just fouled me, didn't he? Gonna have to look on the replay of that. I, I, I was only winning by a goal as well. I shouldn't have tried to show off too much. It worked out in the end. So yeah, somehow I ended on the ground. Was it a penalty? Don't really know. We score anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Dumbia's had one hell of a game. Oh, here we go. Van Persie just passed it across here to someone a bit more quicker. In Quadrado. Now smash it! Bang! Juan Quadrado is absolutely amazing. He's just not a skiller or a pacey guy. He's a good. He's got a good shot on him for a guy that doesn't have the highest shot attribute on the card. So that was a class finish. Some people might not know what to do there. Like, you think if you might shoot, might get saved. There's a bit players in the way. But wow, what a shot from Juan Quadrado. Number 11 for us. Uh, to make it 4-1, and now the scoreline really reflects our performance in this game. And now it's Robin. He's probably just going to go look for a cross or something. He has no other idea. And <laughs> pretty much what I said. Uh, that can happen often. Uh, with some people, they just get frustrated. Run out of uh, ideas against me. So here we go. Look for through ball. Oh, it's unraveling now. Mertens. Oh, skills are past him. Oh, I just owned you, mate. Oh, what a skill past the keeper. Uh, to finish off, five-star performance, five goals in this game. Oh, I love when you can skill past the goalkeeper. It just looks so good as he committed. Come on. 5-1. What a way to start this division. I'm guessing that's what he'll be thinking anyway. Oh, here, just opening the spaces, and it probably would have been another... Uh, the umpire or the referee just ends their misery right now because he could sense another one coming. Uh, Buffon, decent performance. He did pretty well. And, yeah, it's a wonderful way to start off this division to uh, start a promotion campaign. Hopefully we do. Uh, key players stepping up for me. Uh, maybe if I didn't do well in this game, I could have uh, rethinked my team. Or I could have rethinked my team, yeah. 
uh, but we were absolutely amazing. The Buffon was actually man of the match. Deserved. He made a lot of saves. But I think some outfield players dominated as well. So you can see the stats of our coins we earned from that game. And the match stats, the match stats really tell it all. We dominated possession 62%. Uh, 10 shots on target, 17 in total. Anything else? Slightly better pass accuracy. Pretty poor shot accuracy, but... That's because we had a lot of them, and you can see that with the five goals. So you can see, after that win, a 5-1 win, just look at the season rewards, really. That's the biggest thing. We need 16 uh, to get the promotion, and 19, obviously, for the championship, which give us 6K. I reckon with a win in the first game, we can go for that. Because, of course, much po um, more coins you can get uh, will be important for us. I haven't really checked out signings um, I could make, like new players or Quadrado injured is not very good. You could say I could use one of the other players, but no, I've got heaps because I opened heaps of packs a while back, so I've got all this. Do I have any leg-specific ones? Okay, there we go. Or maybe a shorter one. Foot? No, we'll just have to use this one. And we've got like 17 of this one, so uh, for all injuries, plus four. And quite a few of these ones. Popular ones is head injury, upper body, arm, knee, and the one I need here, leg. So that's all sorted. And that's what you need. That's a good way to make coins. Of course, you have to spend a bit. But what you do is maybe open like the amount to, to get as much I have, maybe around 300 contracts, maybe a bit more like to get close to 100 fitness cards. And then you just have, you can play for coins because you don't have to spend money on contracts and fitness. You can just, you play for coins. And if you get high in the divisions, uh, yeah, it'll definitely pay off. And Asamoah and even fitness, look how, uh, look how much I have, or contracts, sorry. I'm in the wrong department. But yeah, like have you get heaps of contracts or opening packs. So just say if you do one pack burst for the whole, or maybe even two, maybe before January and then maybe a bit after or at the start of the game and then in January, yeah, that would make more sense on the first day uh, to make a lot of coins and then you yeah, get a lot of contracts fitness and then you can push on. But yeah, uh, I'll just offer a fitness card to Pogba. Uh, this part is a bit boring. So I'll just do it as quick as I can. And even Dumbia with 77, like he's still quick. So we we'll, won't increase it for now. We'll just go in and try and find another opponent. So here we go, lads. Funny enough, he's got a Shrewsbury Town badge uh, because I do a Shrewsbury career mode. I'll use my yellow kit in this game. Uh, we'll go in. Uh, I want to see what kind of team. His name's like Pilot Star 352 <laughs> 467, just like a random name. And. Again, even his team name is random. Ooh, interesting. It's a BPL side. they got Inform, Jekko, uh, Ericsson as a left forward, along with Navas. Then the midfield three, Ramirez, Fabregas. There's Oscar and back four, Clichy, company. And I think Kashalny didn't see the right back, but I will find out during the game. Aloha Park. Come on, we need to get another win. Well, we don't need to. It would just be a great way to start the division, you know? So we'll see. Oh, he's almost with the chance. I was just checking something on my computer to see if it was recording. Oh, my God. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have done that, but they almost scored. Come on. Oh, I feel this is going to be a tough game. I, I, it's, again, like the previous one, I felt it was going to be easy. And this one, how did I? No, I knew. I knew something was going to happen at the start of the game. I just had the feeling, like, maybe a bit slower, um, yeah, reactions, uh, input. But either way, not to use that as an excuse, it's just the first game I felt I was going to win and I did, and this one I feel like I'm not. <laughs> That's before I conceded. Ugh. This is a frustrating game, man. I don't really want to mention it, but the button lag is just making it not enjoyable to play, you know? Gomez. Ugh. So, yeah, we're going in 1-0. We have slightly more possession. Same shots, really, but not a very fun game to play, this one is. Dumbia, come on. Do something. Okay, here he is. Here he is, with some skill. Oh, difficult to break down. He looks like he's playing really defensive here. Though. I think he knows it's a tough game. Oh, he's just doing this crap skill. Oh, I hate that. Because I wasn't, I wasn't really anticipating like he was going to do that. It was a good, yeah, it was good at the end of the day. It, it was a good goal, technically, but I just wasn't expecting him to do that. Yeah. 
frustrating to concede that, man. Okay. Go, Dumbia. Go, Dumbia. Go, Dumbia. Fake it. He does. This should be finished. Always, always, always. Whew. Back in the game. Back in the game. Now I'm just, I'm shattered I conceded a few minutes ago because uh, it could have been equal. But yeah, as soon as I got past that fake shot done in the box, it's always, yeah, you're always going to finish in that kind of position. Now we've got R. Cadredo out wide. Quadrado. Here we go. Look at this. Just trying to find that gap. He does. Quadrado. Oh, what an individual effort. <laughs> what an effort from Quadrado. Getting past all those players and then finding the back of the net. Inspiration. Look at that. Just bolting through and then just taking the shot from that angle. Not really trying to cut in from it. What a hit. And he's dominating in this episode. Quadrado. Wow. That was but oh, could be a chance. Dumbia. Uh oh. This is a danger. Oh, Dumbia. 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 Why is it lagging in this position? Oh man, if it didn't lag. It goes in anyway. Take that, man. 3-2. And it's been a tough game, but we made our way back in the second half. Uh, but yeah, it did lag in the crucial position there. Not much you can do about it, I suppose. Uh, we probably yeah, deserve to finish. So we're in the lead. 3-2. Come on. Falls to Dumbia. With some skill. Oh, that was good. This was good. And the finish is amazing. Make it 4-2. Look doubtful really, really early in this game. But we have turned it around uh, with some skill. Uh, both Quadrado and Dumbia has been absolutely amazing. Just look at those skilling... Uh, moments from Seydou Dumbia. Big game, 4-2. Looking like another three points for us. Oh, almost through. Dumbia, not almost. He is Dumbia. Another five goals. Absolutely amazing. Dumbia is unstoppable. He's so clinical. He makes an interception, fakes it, and then goes bang with a nice finish. Very, very nice. Seydou Dumbia. He's definitely one of the best strikers, and this is the first time I've really used him in FIFA 15 so far. Uh, definitely would recommend him if you're looking for a clinical scorer. He's going to score you goals, even if it doesn't suit in your squad. Uh, put him on the bench and bring him on at some point, and he will do what he's done in this game for you, if you know how to use him, of course. Navas, Navas, oh, he's going to get a chance here, and Buffon makes an excellent save. You can That really backs up it, uh, why I have him... Um, in the goalkeeping position, uh, Buffon's amazing. So that's it for this game. Again, it was a great comeback. It was a poor first half, but we definitely turned it around in the second. And again, repping the Australian flag. Uh, we have done good in this episode, so or done well, if you want to be technically correct. But yes, 5-2. Good performance from the lads. Uh, we should pick up another decent amount of coins. And you can see Dumbia, he deserved man of the match. He killed it. Brought us back into the game. Yeah, Quadrado's goal did as well to actually yeah, bring us back to have a chance in this game. Similar shots for the game, but we were just, again, more clinical. Uh, probably have better players. So we move on. First two games of the division. Uh, we pick up six points. You can't get too much better than that. So I'll leave it here as there's not really much else to happen after this. Uh, we'll just yeah, advance anyway. But yeah, if you want to see some more of this, uh, drop a like on the video. Leave a comment. Maybe some players I should sign. You know, I probably have around towards, you can see, yeah, 43K. It's good. So I'll just advance so you can see how much exactly I have. Um, whether I can sell my current Premier League players and a couple others I have on the bench uh, or build a Premier League team. But I'm really enjoying this yeah, Serie A team I'm playing with at the minute. And all I can do is improve it from here on out. But I feel the team is really, really strong. It's balanced. You've got a strong striker in Gomez. You can go yeah, with the headers or whatever or just use his strength to create. And then Dumbia with his pace and skill and the pace and skill of Quadrado out wide. But then you've got the strength on the left side. So you've got a good mix. You've got the strength of in one, one of the wings and pace on the other. And the strikers, you've got strength. And yeah, the other, you've got pace. It's a really, really good mix. And then Mertens is really skillful when quick through the middle. A good passer, creates can assist, and he can score as well on his day. And two very strong defensive midfielders. Uh, De Rossi maybe to hold a bit more in Pogba to get forward and maybe try some shots. And then, yeah, really solid uh, Juve back three, or back four technically, as Buffon is part of that. Those three centre-backs, they're all really, really good. Um, they have some yeah, own uh, positives and negatives about them, but uh, as a whole, uh, as a collective, uh, their chemistry together is really perfect. 
as you can get a back three and a goalkeeper together. But hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. And I shall see you guys next time.